All right, Daniel Chu, aka Chewbacca here for day 13, unlucky 13 out of 30 of my November rejection challenges. Today I am actually standing outside of my favorite uh, San Diegan burrito shop. It's a place called Taco Stand. Ironically, this place is called Taco Stand. You come here for burritos, you don't get the tacos here. Um, I've specifically chosen a time of day where they're not too busy. This place is really popular. They tend to like have uh, lines like basically like down the street. Um, but the challenge today uh, is to go inside and to uh, ask if I can basically call out orders for them. Um, and this is, I think like, a four out of ten on my scale this isn't such a bad challenge honestly it's uh, again like talking to someone who's like paid to deal with me uh, actually in this case there is a little bit of a twist in that like I actually come here a lot I would kind of consider myself a regular taco stand um, whenever I'm feeling like I need some like comfort food like burritos are my go-to in San Diego uh, so it's actually like not entirely implausible that the person who's actually manning the counter today actually recognizes me um, in which case uh, this could be a little awkward and like I do intend to keep coming back here so uh, you know if like this entire interaction goes awkwardly like I don't want it to ruin my favorite burrito place for me but I'm gonna try it anyway um, so yeah this should be this should be I think fairly easy um, in my head I'm actually it's weird, I had this like mental shift now, uh, you know, I'm almost halfway done with these rejection challenges. I had this mental shift now where uh, I start worrying about what's going to happen if they say yes. Uh, because uh, if they say yes, I'm actually like more time committed to doing something uh, than I, I otherwise would be if like they say no, right? If they say no, it's just really easy. It's like, okay, uh, it's not a huge deal. Uh, I'll get over it and just walk away. It's like very self-contained. If they say yes, um, I actually have to get behind that counter and like call out orders. Uh, and, and that idea somehow makes me kind of uncomfortable. Um, but before, before I started all this, I was much more preoccupied with the idea of people saying no than like of people saying yes. Uh, so uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see how this one goes. Wish me luck. Hi, how's it going? Uh, I have a kind of strange request today. I'm wondering if I could actually come back there and call out a couple orders for you guys. I'm wondering if I could actually come back there and call out a couple of orders for you guys. Like you calling out the name? Just calling out a name, yeah. <laughs> no, can't do it. Uh, all right. Uh, any chance I can? I, I mean, I guess like, is it like a food safety issue or like? Uh, yeah, it's more like a food safety and like a okay. safety issue. All right. Well, that's that's fair. I just, you guys are my favorite taco shop, so I wanted to uh, uh, just ask. It was kind of for fun, but uh, I, I understand that the, the answer is no. Is no. Uh, thanks very much. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. All right. I'm back outside of Taco Stand, and uh, that was a no. Uh, watching the video, I'm thinking that I probably could have been a little bit more um, persistent. I think that I could have like suggested a uh, an alternative, or um, I think that I probably should have like asked more open-endedly why not, as opposed to like give her a reason to tell me. Um, and when she actually told me why not, I could probably have dug a few layers deeper and asked, you know, like assured her that like I'm not dangerous, I, I'm not planning on doing anything like malicious or anything, try to assuage some of her concerns and see if like could go a few layers deeper in the rejection. 
Um, but rather than think of that in the moment, I I just took the no and I like wanted to get out of there real fast. So I'll have to work on that continually in the next 17 days of doing this. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully I'll get better at that. And uh, you know, I actually do feel a little like disappointed. I kind of expected like somehow I was gonna get a yes there, uh, and I thought it'd be kind of a fun experience. But uh, you know, that's all right. You win some, you lose some. So I'll be back for day 14.